guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out some new products. I have the new Jeffree Star Concealer, the new Jeffree Star Powder. I have all kinds of new stuff. So if you want to see what I think about these new products and if I think you should buy them or not, then please keep on watching. Okay, so wow, I look real cute, but I just put my hair back and I went ahead and did my eyebrows because I don't have anything new for my brows. But I'm just going to go ahead and use use my Ola Hen Henriksen, excuse me, primer because I also don't have a new primer. Go me. I'm just going to work that in to my skin. My eyebrows look really white, but don't worry. I'm going to fix it in just a second when we start my foundation because I have a new concealer that I want to use and I didn't want to just haul off and start carving them out. I wanted to wait. So for foundation today, I'm going to be trying the new Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. And I have this in the shade MG5. So I'm just going to start by pumping a little bit on my finger. Actually, you know what? It has a... So it has a pump and it also has a like applicator with it, which I totally forgot about. So I'm gonna use the applicator because I like these a lot better than the pumps. I just hate getting it all over my fingers and everything. So I'm just gonna start by putting this everywhere. I hope this matches me okay. I think it's going to. My self tanner is looking a little bad at the moment, but when does it ever look good? It never does. It always looks like trash. Literally just putting this stuff everywhere. And I've heard such good things about this foundation. Apparently a lot of people like it. So I guess we shall see. Oh yeah, I think this color is going to be really good for me. But I'm just patting it in with my... I don't even know. I think this might be Real, Tex Real Techniques. Yeah, this is my Real Techniques sponge. It's also extremely dirty. But oh well. So, so far I can tell that this is definitely a full coverage foundation and I got this at Ulta. So, yeah. So apparently Ulta carries like a certain amount of colors, but online, I want to say they have like they have 100 shades maybe? I'm not really for sure. I am just going to go ahead and get a little bit of the foundation and carve my br brows out just a little bit. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I used my Benefit Precisely My Brow. And guys, this foundation is drying so quickly. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to be able to carve out my brows with it. I'll have to like add another layer of my brows or around my brows. Because this foundation is drying super quickly. So I messed up and didn't work fast with this foundation, which apparently that's what you're supposed to do and I didn't know. I haven't watched a whole lot of videos on this foundation, um, so I wasn't for sure. But yeah, apparently you have to work fast with it, so remember that. And I'm almost positive it was a pretty average price for this foundation. I'll double check for you guys in just a second whenever I finish um, doing my face because like I said, you do have to work fast. And I'm trying to work pretty fast with it now that I found that out. And it is drying down um, super like dry almost, um, if that makes sense. Like it's definitely not a dewy foundation. It's very full coverage. I wouldn't go as far to say that it's matte, but yeah, she's drying down. It's almost kind of powdery, like a powdery um, kind of finish. Okay, so you can buy it at Ulta for $36, which is a pretty average price for a foundation, especially a higher-end foundation. And there are actually 40 shades on Ulta's website. And I don't know if the brand's website carries more. Let me double check on there. Oh yeah, so there definitely is a lot more shades on their website. I mean, I don't even know how many shades they have, but they do have um, a pretty fair shade range. I mean, you definitely have the fair and then the medium and then the darks there is a little bit more fair it looks like on here than there are mediums and darks so but I mean as far as that goes I mean it's a pretty good shade range I mean there's a lot of shades so if there's gonna be that many shades then you should be able to incorporate everybody's shades in that I don't know if you guys can tell or not but that is a lot of different shades 
So yeah, so far, I mean, it covered really good. I am impressed with it. It's not something that I hate, and I'm like, wow, I'm never gonna use this again. Um, we'll just have to see how it wears throughout the day, but so far, it's so good. Okay, so up next, this is something that I'm so excited about, and this is the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer. So she just looks like that. She is so pretty and just so Jeffree. I mean, honestly, like you see, that star up there, girl, that is him. So I have the shade C11 in this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I kinda worried that this would be a little bit too dark for me, but oh my gosh, it is perfect. If not, it actually might be a little bit more light than what I was thinking it was gonna be, but I'm just gonna start by putting it everywhere. I put my concealer, and so far just from that, just from application, I can tell that it is not super thick. You know, it's not a e.l.f. or the e.l.f. concealer. It's not a Tarte Shape Tape. It's not as thick as that. I mean, so far it has a pretty nice coverage. I don't know if I would really call it full coverage. I don't really know what the claims are. Once again, I'll look as soon as I get done um, blending it all in. But yeah, I don't think I would call it full coverage because I can still see darkness like underneath my eye. I mean, it covered most of it up. Like I said, it's, it's definitely not a Tarte or a e.l.f. camo concealer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to build this up underneath my eyes just a little bit. It's kind of laying weird on my skin. Like it's not really what I expected. It's not bad, but... I was kind of expecting mind blowing and I'm not really feeling that just yet. I mean every Jeffree product that I've ever had has been good. Now granted I've only had his blue blood palette but I mean that was a really good palette. I just don't really know if this is blowing my mind just yet. Okay so that did help um, a little bit with that so yeah um, I mean I like it don't get me wrong I do I just don't know if it's as mind blowing as I thought it was going to be. Let me pull up how much it retails for and what the claims are on his website. Okay so it says our unique creamy high coverage liquid concealer formula comes in over 30 shades. So 30 shades that is um that's pretty good. It looks like the colors are good for that. It's in the shade range, but high coverage to me, I don't know if it's just my lighting or what, but it doesn't look that full coverage to me. Creamy? Yes, for sure. I can totally agree with that, but full, like high coverage? Mm, I don't really think so. Has 20% pigment and can cover tattoos. I almost feel like putting some on my tattoo right now to see if it covers it or not. Would that be too much? I mean, I don't know. We might have to like do a test on that or something like on my Instagram and do it because I don't feel like taking my camera down and putting it on my foot because my tattoo is on my foot. And also this concealer is $22. I mean, I guess that's kind of fair. So next I have the Jeffree Star powder too. And I have the color rose. So I don't know. I'm anxious to see what this color looks like because this is the only color they have left that was close to what I might be able to wear. Oh my goodness, it has like a little twisty thing. So it twists over and you pull the, it has like plastic. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but there it is and let's just tap her out. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I almost forgot, we've got to pause this. I totally forgot that I had the new Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contour, um, thing cream contour I don't know where I was going with that but I totally forgot about that I was literally just going to go ahead and start powdering my face but nope not just yet so I do have this bad boy too um I had the shade light in it because on Sephora's website the shades look really really dark so I worried that the medium might be too dark for me but then I swatched this and the light looks like it blends out to where it's not as dark so I might have been able to get away with a medium. I might not have, but I got the light. So here it is. And I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge that I was using to put my foundation on and I'm just gonna start, ooh girl, like I put a little bit too 
much on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We'll blend her out, don't, don't you worry. See, like, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but that definitely is blending out. Like, it's not as dark as it looks in the pan, um, and it's not as dark as what it's showing on, like, right here. So I'm just going to blend that out so far. So good with that. I mean, it's blending out really nicely. It's not sticking, if that makes sense. Like, you know, some cream contours, if you're not careful, you've got to work really fast with them. And this one's not drying down as fast as I thought that it was going to. But that shade, I don't like my cream contours to... Excuse me. I don't like my cream contours to be too, too dark. So I think the shade is like pretty okay for me. I think that if I got a little bit darker, it might be too dark. So I'm glad that I stuck with this color and my hair's a little purple right over there so don't mind that oh yeah she's real cute i really like this okay so i really do like that contour a lot okay so now we'll jump back in to the jeffree star powder so i'm just gonna take some on my beauty sponge and just pat it up underneath my eyes and <sighs> Wow, okay, so I just inhaled like a whole bunch of cotton candy scent. <laughs> you might need to put this on with a mask. I mean, if you want me to be real right now, you might want to actually be concerned when putting this on because it is strong. <coughs> okay. So, so far, um, the powder itself is really good. Like, I like how finely milled it is. It's laying nice, you know, so far. All I'm doing is just, like, baking underneath my eyes. But that scent, guys, if you do not like scents, you are, like, it will choke you up. I'm not kidding with you right now. I just, like, had a coughing attack and, yeah. She, she is real smelly and you don't want to breathe her in. And I did worry about that rose shade, but because it does have a little bit of a pink tint to it and I was like, oh Lord, I'm going to look pink. But no, like it is looking really good and I think I like it a whole lot. Like I really like this color. It's not, um, it does have like a brightening tint to it. So... <laughs> I really like that. Okay, so I am going to just like blend this in to my skin. And I'm going to take a little bit of it and just dust it around my face so my foundation isn't wet and sticky because you all know that I hate that. <laughs> so for my bronzer today, I am just going to use my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer. And this is in the shade Private Island. So this is definitely not anything um, new. I've talked about this bronzer before on camera. So this is not a first impression on it. But I will tell you guys, I wanted to pick up the new Huda Beauty setting spray and I completely forgot about it. I went to Knoxville for a doctor's appointment yesterday and oh my gosh, what is going on here? with my self tanner like that looks so bad um but anyways i went to knox pool yesterday for a doctor's appointment and where i live y'all i don't have um a sephora around here we do have one about 30 minutes away in johnson city but it's literally in a jc penny's and they do not have near as much as a normal size store does. So I went to Knoxville and I get kind of overwhelmed when I go in there because I'm like, wow, like what do I buy? What do I need? And I completely forgot to get that Huda Beauty um, new setting spray. I feel like this area right here is looking really weird. Um, but I forgot to get that. So, yeah, I've heard really good things about it. I've heard this, like, smell of it's kind of overwhelming. But as actual, like, the actual product, I hear it's real good. So, I need to get my hands on that. Okay, guys, so I'm not doing a eyeshadow look today because I don't have a new eyeshadow palette. And honestly, 
like there hasn't been an eyeshadow palette recently that has actually like really spoke to me I'm just kind of um, I'm like about everybody else I'm bored with them I know there's been a couple of other youtubers that have said this I am bored with them I just haven't been doing eyeshadow looks hardly at all lately I've just been doing wing liner lashes and honestly it feels really good and I really like it so I'm not doing a eye look today well, an eyeshadow look today, but I am going to be trying the new Fenty Beauty um, liquid eyeliners. So I have the collection Bayside, and I don't know what color I want to do just yet. So it's between these two. What if I just did, what if I did them both? How would that look, do you think? So these are... I have the green one and then I have the bluish kind of purplish one. So I think I'm going to do them both today. So let's pray for your girl to see how this is going to go. But I'm just going to get real up close to you all and I'm just going to start by, I'm going to start with this green. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh guys. Please don't let me fail this. Okay, so, so far, so good. It is very light. You will have to go over with a second layer. Oh, girl, I don't know. Like, she is kind of light. Like, she's not really wanting to show up that good. Like, you can still see my lid. Like, around the edges, that's good. But in the middle, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but in the middle, it's kind of, like, kind of patchy-like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start on this other eye, the same thing I did for that one, but I'm going to let this one dry and then I'm going to go back over it again. So there we are. It's a really pretty green shade. I just wish that it wasn't so, um, I don't really know what the word is for it. Like you can still see my eyelid except in the spots that it's like really, really thick. Um, so yeah, it definitely needs to be built up. So I'm just going to let them dry down just a little bit and then I'll go back over top and hopefully that'll make them um, just a little bit more vivid and a little bit more um, pigmented if that makes sense. Okay so I think that this side is pretty dry down and she is cracking like you can definitely see that she's cracking right there um, in the middle. I hope you guys can see I don't know if you can tell but right there yeah she's cracking. Okay, so this is helping um, a little bit with that pigmentation and just like making sure that there's no eyelid showing and it's just the liner. If you are going to use this, I would definitely just put a layer down, let it dry, and then overlap. I don't really know what everybody else's claims are on this, um, or if it's just me. Maybe it just does not like me, but... Yeah, that's like the only complaint. I mean, other than that, the color is really pretty. I just don't know. And I've also never really worked with um, colorful liners. So this could be the way for all of them. I'm not entirely sure, like I said. But now I'm just going to go in with that blue. And I'm going to make my wing with it. Oh, this color is real pretty. So I just went ahead and did that wing. That wing looks really bad. And I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the green. I'm going to let them dry down and then I will go back over them for a second layer. <laughs> At least this is kind of a different look for me. I mean, I usually just, I feel like I do the same looks and I don't mean to. I just, I'm not a very colorful girl. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of colorful looks um, in my everyday life. And then on here, I just, I I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm sorry. I feel like I should be. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a little things different for you guys. I'm gonna try to blend those guys out a little bit. I, mm, I don't think they're gonna blend. Yeah, they're not gonna blend. They're stuck down. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go back over with the blue. The blue's definitely not as bad as the green. So the green might just be a harder um, liner to to create and a like. I don't know just it might just be different okay so here we are definitely not my best work but I mean what can you do I feel like once I put lashes and everything else on it'll kind of come together 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes if I can find my mascara. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some mascara on. And this is just the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Now I'm going to use my Flutter Lashes in the style Pucker. Oh my gosh, guys, the mail lady just came by and she brought my ring light so i just bought a ring light for my videos and i'm so excited like your girl's trying to get up there in the world you know like i'm trying um oh my gosh guys this i feel like this takes away from my liner i don't mean for it to oh my gosh i don't know about these lashes guys i feel like i want to use my saucy lashes Yep, girl, that's what I'm going to do. I can't. I, like, want you to be able to see my liner. So, give me just a second, and I about knocked my camera down. But, yeah, I got my new ring light in, and I'm so freaking excited. Like, maybe my videos might actually look kind of good and might be kind of good quality because, at the moment, they're not really. I mean, I try, but it's hard, guys. Like, if you don't have, like... I don't know, the lighting is everything in videos, you know? It plays a big part. And right now I use natural lighting. I don't have like, any kind of artificial lights. So, yeah, like if you see my videos getting darker, it's probably because the sun's behind a cloud, like I think right now. So, hopefully that'll help me out a little bit. We might be able to see some progress. Oh yeah, these lashes are real good. Super long, just super nice. And you're able to still see um, the la or the liner a little bit better, at least better than the other ones. Cause they were just a little bit more thicker um, than what I needed. Oh, okay guys, so there they are. I don't know why this lash looks so weird. Like it looks a little bit more out there than the other but here we are i mean i'm like feeling these liners like i really like them they definitely are cracking um so yeah there's that but especially the green literally going in for a third time on that green the green's really pretty like i said if it just wouldn't crack the blue's not cracking um at all it's just that green color so that's why i'm wondering if maybe to create a green liner the formula might be a little bit harder to like get there if that makes sense like i don't know you know some foundation or some um eyeshadows it's like that like some eyeshadows are a little bit harder to make than others so i'm thinking that that might just be what it is other than that i really like them and i actually want to put the other shade like on my bottom lash line this pink color papaya mama super cute name i'm gonna try to put this on my bottom lash guys pray for me I really like these colors though. I think they're just so pretty. I'm at the point where I would just rather have a colorful eye like liner than a colorful eyeshadow look because I don't know what it is about eyeshadows, but they are just not calling for me right now. Especially newer light or newer eyeshadow palettes. It's like, okay, like, but I feel like I have this palette. Um, that's just kind of where it's at, you know, I feel like they're almost just kind of burnt out. So I'm going to go ahead and do my, um, bottom lashes. Now what I'm going to do is I don't have a new, um, blush, so I'm just going to throw on a blush real fast. I think I'm going to use my Milani, um, Coral Cove blush if I can pick it up and not keep dropping it. definitely feel like a bright blush is like, what is going to look good with this look? So I also have a new highlighter palette, and this is the Sugar Rush Fresh and Frosted palette. I've never tried this brand before. If you guys didn't know, this is Tarte's sister brand. I think they sell it at Ulta also, but let me grab my highlighter brush. It's on my ledge up here. But she just looks like that, just like real pretty. Um, the shades are stunning, and I think I'm going to go in with, I don't know what I want to do. The middle shade's a little bit too yellow for me, so I'm thinking I'm going to do the wider shade. Oh, yeah. She is real pretty, and sh this one has a little bit of a gold tint to it also. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Just put it everywhere. They're definitely really buttery, um, really, like, kind of creamy-like <laughs> for powder. 
And I'm just going to go back over with my bronzer brush like I usually do and just make sure there's no harsh lines with that um, highlighter. I also don't have any new lipsticks or lip liners, so I'm going to throw on a nude shade, but I do have a new lip gloss, so I will be right back when I put those on. Okay, so I threw on a little bit of Wherever Walnut and Stripped by Anastasia. So for the lip gloss today, I have the new Hourglass, um, I don't even know what these are called, High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Ignite. And it just looks like that. Super pretty. I've been such a lip gloss girl, guys. Like, you have no clue. Oh, yeah. It's a um, plumping lip gloss, I can tell. Because it has that minty scent to it. But like I said, you can definitely tell it is a plumping lip gloss because it has that um, minty like feeling to it and kind of burning sensation. So, yeah, which I don't mind. But, yeah. I definitely don't have a problem with it. It's definitely not my Kevin Aquan lip glass that I am in love with. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty okay. Ooh. And one more thing before I do go, you guys. I do have a new, it's a glitter body oil by Sugar Rush. And I'm going to try this for y'all also. I have like a lower cut shirt so you guys might be able to see it um, on my chest. And she just looks like that, um, super glittery. I'm kind of anxious to see how this is going to work. I'm really gold looking too. So I'm just going to put some on my hands. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to apply this kind of thing. I'm just going to put it right there. And it is very, um, oily. I actually don't really think that anything's hardly showing up. I don't know if you guys can tell or not kind of has a coconut scent to it, but it's not thick. It's very like watery. I don't even see much of a difference. I don't know if you guys do or not, but um, no, I don't know about her. Maybe, um, if it wasn't so liquidy and a little bit more thicker, it might be nice. Guys, I tried the new Huda Beauty, um, not your mama's pantyhose stuff, and I need. Hopefully I'll try to get that sometime soon. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely had some good things. I didn't really have bad things, but some things that I weren't as, um, I don't know, just blown away by, like the Jeffree Star concealer. Not blown away by it as much as I thought I was going to be. I'm worried about the Huda Beauty um, Tantor cream and I ended up loving it like absolutely loving it and then this stuff yeah not a huge fan of her definitely some yeses and definitely some um you know kind of no's I guess I don't know um like I said I didn't really have any no's but there was some things that I just wasn't um as blown away by as I thought I was going to be so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future videos and yeah I will see you guys next time bye guys